up and welcome back this is law of evolution and thank you for joining me for episode nine i think of draw with law and um this one is actually a really simple logo design um i finished it very quickly due to that and uh, this is actually for uh, my grandmother and so uh, she has a business called Rhyming Bible Truths and she actually goes <laughs> to um, to jails and prisons and she uh, teaches the word to uh, incarcerated individuals that are willing to learn and so you know of course of course my first time hearing this I'm like I'm like mama you need to stay what, what you doing in prison you need to stay away from them I, but you know what hey i'm not tripping that if that's her calling we're gonna go ahead and let her do her thing but uh this was done uh, pro bono free of charge for you want to go ahead and do her thing so it would like i said it was very simple as you can see on the left side i had a little tablet where i was showing some of the initial designs that i was doing uh, it was five designs that uh, i allowed her to choose from and usually what I would end up doing is once a customer chooses a specific uh, sketch that they like, I will kind of build on that sketch and create different variations of that sketch that I send back to them again for them to kind of go over once more. But once again, this is free of charge, so I wasn't going to open the pearly gates for my mom. It's free, so <laughs> we just go go ahead and get it knocked out. But it was fun. It was fun. It was fast. And I got it knocked out very quickly. So as you can see here, it's just really quick easy design I just tossed it together very fast and I'm putting it here in Adobe Illustrator so I go from uh, doing a hand drawing to Adobe Illustrator and then passing it off to Photoshop uh, for some post processing so it's one of this is probably one of the shortest uh, draw with law episodes uh, out there I, I think there were only probably like seven minutes or something like that um, because the Adobe Illustrator portion usually is what really takes me the longest um, just kind of getting those lines in there and as you can see this is really only a few strokes once I get into Illustrator so it wasn't that hard wasn't that bad and uh, actually have fun with it I have fun and um, I chose kind of a color scheme that really fit um, the you know, Bible kind of scheme and what I mean by that is the as you can see the logo kind of takes uh, the shape of like a cross um, with um, what I would kind of consider like a, a sphere or a sun um, behind it and being it kind of like a sun I just chose these colors that were kind of uh, orange and yellow and kind of like a sunburst type of colors. And um, here I'm just kind of cleaning it up and just doing the edges and just making sure everything's a little clean. I, I would, I, it is, and I end up doing this every single time that I'm uh, producing a logo. It's like I'll put it in an illustrator and I'll start toying around with it and I wanna finish it in Illustrator. Now this is totally possible. This is something that can be done without a doubt. Um, but I'm really accustomed to taking it into Photoshop for post-processing because I have some different filters and things that I'm very accustomed to doing there um, that, uh, that that I'm very comfortable using. And so I always like to take it into Photoshop for post-processing. And then this didn't need to be created as a YouTube banner or any type of banner like that. Um, but I kind of just did it anyway because I just <laughs> I just felt, you know, um, uh, one of those. I, I might end up putting it on my page or I might end up creating a YouTube channel for her um, and just doing footage for her in that kind of manner. So um, this is a color scheme that I started to toy around with. And this is what I mean. I was like, I was, I was playing with different colors and I was like, oh, let me do this. And oh, let me just different colors in each corner. And then I can just kind of gradiate uh, this side and I can do this. And then I always kind of slap my hand and I'd be like, OK, I think I'm doing a bit much here. So after I toyed around with it just a little bit, I was like, eh, you know what, just screw it. Let's just go black <laughs> and we just make it black. Just finish the black logo and, um, you know, I could take it to post processing in Photoshop. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I just kind of left it black. And um, and once I get it over to Photoshop, I can really have some fun with it. So uh, once again, I made it a quick banner and it was just super easy. And here we are in Photoshop. Uh, one of the things that you saw me do there is I actually created this palette size that was actually enormous. It was like just really big. I think a thousand by a thousand palette size. I could have shrank that down. Um, which would have helped the resolution of the the logo when I put it in there I think I saved it as a PNG and I saved it as something else um, but that could have definitely helped uh, in the long run as, as you can see when I zoom in and zoom out zoom out the pixelation is kind of heavy and I realized that 
before I even started to mess with it. But for the sake of the video and for the, for the sake of this recording, um, I just went ahead and moved forward. Um, started playing with some strokes and here we are with that kind of orange and gold kind of color right there And so once again, you can kind of see the pixelation there, but uh, like I said, man This is this is one of the really super short ones um, I don't want to talk your ear off too much about what I'm doing because it's so simple It's just you know hand drawing something a few strokes getting it outlined dropping in some fonts Having a little bit of fun and just kind of getting it saved and getting it out there So I appreciate you guys checking this quick very quick uh, video out. Uh, I will be doing a lot more of these um, you know, videos that draw with law episodes and logo designs and stuff for the channel coming up. You could be, as you could probably tell, I've toned down a lot on uh, streaming and uh, gaming on the channel. It's not going anywhere because I'm just, I'm a heavy gamer. I still game. It's not going anywhere. Um, but I definitely wanted to focus on some of the other talents that I have. And um, I get a ton of orders like this and I just generally don't record all of them. So I'm just going to start recording a lot of the things that I do, getting them on the channel and just putting them out there. And um, I really appreciate the support that you guys have given me ever since episode one. So um, please come back, check out episode 10, which is probably be coming here very, very soon. And I... We'll check you guys out on the next one.